Imagine two important special audit reports on the performance of two agencies, the Tax Administration Jamaica and the Financial Services Commission, a regulatory body that has gone through this whole SSS saga and had to have its whole leadership change. Auditor General Pamela Monroe Ellis on Monday revealed that she sent back the two reports which were returned to her office from Parliament last week. God Almighty, I couldn't believe she's sitting because so of my God. We know we're going. We fix up the whole nation. Controversial Member of Parliament for Southwestern St. Catherine Everett Warmington has withdrawn his resignation as Chairman of the JLP's Area 2. Andrew cannot fire Warmington because Warmington have too much secret for Andrew. Minute, wait, wait a minute. How, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. In an interesting twist, the Clerk of the House of Representatives appeared to be facing the heat over the matter. In a letter obtained by our new center, House Speaker Juliet Holness accused Valerie Curtis of dereliction of duty. Please and subscribers, never see smoke without fire. Juliet Holness sitting on report for months, my people. No need to eat at. She said, my report fast. Even you saying, gonna beat it. <laughs> <laughs> Please and subscribers, why are Juliet Holness send back all those reports and Friday, my people? Don't you find that suspicious? Don't have fish my people? Freeze and subscribers. Is it that Junior Honest want her table to be clear my people? Let me know in the comment section. Freeze and subscribers. Why the report was not sent before opposition leader Mark Golin exposed all the corruption in the Jamaica Labour Party constituency my people? First, let me ask all Jamaican citizens a big question right here. Do you think the all speaker Junior Honest is compromised my people? Let me know in the comment section. Freeze and subscribers. There's no professionalism right here my people. All speaker Junior Honest blaming her colleagues for her dirty behavior she been displaying all this time of people. Imagine two important special audit reports on the performance of two agencies, the Tax Administration Jamaica and the Financial Services Commission, a regulatory body that has gone through this whole SSS saga and had to have its whole leadership changed. That is what was sent to Parliament two months or more ago and was not tabled. And when I raised it in order to pretend that I was not telling the truth and to mislead the public that I was not telling the truth, the, the reports were, after I spoke, sent back by the Speaker to the Auditor General. And, and then the Deputy Prime Minister says that I was telling a lie when it was absolutely true. Everything I said was true. There are two outstanding reports and they have not tabled them and their machinations to avoid tabling them should not be accepted or tolerated by the people of Jamaica. And we're going to continue to hammer this home. The speaker is relying on a particular provision in the FAA Act, Section 30. Section 30 deals with public bodies, but very specifically deals with the audit of financial accounts. That's the only applicable section related to the audits. The two audits that have been done by the Auditor General are special audits of the Tax Administration of Jamaica and of the Financial Services Commission. Neither of those two audits are audits of financial accounts. So by sending them back to the Auditor General, she's acting contrary to the law. Opposition spokesman on finance Julian Robinson further states that the matter reignites concerns about the Speaker's failure to disclose the legal opinion received from the Attorney General on how Parliament should treat with reports it receives. If the Speaker is refusing to table reports from the Auditor General based on, in our view, a flawed interpretation of the law, then you are in effect nullifying the role of the Auditor General because there's no other way for the Auditor General's reports to get into the public domain and into the Parliament unless they are tabled. And it's a very serious constitutional issue. Auditor General Pamela Monroe Ellis has indicated that two reports that were returned to her office on Friday by House Speaker Juliet Holness would be resubmitted to Parliament on Monday. Those two reports, a special audit of the Financial Services Commission and a special audit of Tax Administration Jamaica, were sent to Parliament on December 28 last year and January 29 this year. While not giving a reason for the return, Mrs. Monroe Ellis indicated that she will be dispatching them back to Parliament. This development comes after General Secretary of the Governing Jamaica Labour Party, Dr. Horace Chang, stated that as of Friday, there was no outstanding report from either the Integrity Commission or the Auditor General awaiting tabling in Parliament. Attorney at Law Nicole Gordon is calling it counterproductive. What the law is doing, you know, is it's, it's setting in place, it's entrenching 
systems of good governance. That's what it's trying to do. And my issue is that if it is that the law is trying to entrench these pillars of good governance, what we're talking about, the two months means you must be efficient. Tabling, tabling it in parliament means that you must be transparent and accountable. Those are the pillars. If it is that you are acting in ways that are antithetical to those pillars, it means that you are discrediting your governance. She says the approach taken by the government is not in compliance with transparency and undermines the laws and policies in place to ensure integrity. You can't act in those ways. That is the problem that I'm having with the approach that is taken. Because if you take an approach that you are respecting, not just the legal imperative that government has, but the moral imperative of government, you behave differently. Controversial Member of Parliament for Southwestern St. Catherine Everett Warmington has withdrawn his resignation as chairman of the JLP's Area 2. He resigned earlier this month after revealing that he was sacked as minister with responsibility for works. This over his comments about withholding money from the PNP councillor. However, in an about turn, he has written to party executives withdrawing his resignation, adding that he is fully committed to working for the re-election of the Jamaica Labour Party as a government and, and, and Mr. Andrew Holness as prime minister. For those of you who are confused of Mr. Warmington withdraw his resignation, you all don't understand political loyalty. I'm not sure if you're too young to remember when Dr. Christopher Tufton and Andrew Holness was fighting for power. It was Mr. Warmington was, was one of them who supported Andrew Holness throughout that battle. And it is called political loyalty. Andrew cannot fire Warmington because Warmington have too much secret for Andrew and the Jamaica Labour Party. <laughs> and either way, that's how it is in the boat camps. So Andrew cannot fire Warmington because it's Warmington why Andrew is Prime Minister. So y'all better take that. <laughs>